Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another edition, another episode where we are solving a problem for the PE exam. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is Isaac here and this is a great geotech problem. So lengths of rock in a 60 inch rock core are measured to be 5, 3, 2, 4.2, 5.2, 7, 15, 1, and 10 inches. What is the RQD? So what is RQD, you might ask? Well, RQD is the rock quality uh, designation, and it's basically a measurement of how good of a core sample you've, you've got here, how good the rock is. And so what we've done is this rock core of 60 inches has come out, and we've got all these different pieces to be in, uh, that have come from that rock core. So this is a real simple question, but it comes up a lot on the PE exam. So what we're going to need to do is break out the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, the CIRM. If you don't have that, go get it. We are uh, Civil Engineering Academy is a partner with the uh, PPI guys. And go ahead and use our, our discount code of CEA15. You can get 15% off of this. But Okay, so the CIRM, we're looking at equation 35.48. And what does that tell us? It says, well, it says the RQD is equal to the sum of the length of individual pieces that are over four inches. So we got to look at all these little pieces. We got to find out which ones are over four inches. And you simply divide it by the length of the, oops, that's supposed to be core. That was a G, it would have been core. That's not, that's not what I'm going for here. So length of the core. So it's real simple, real simple question. So all we got to do is add up the pieces greater than four, which looks like it, we've got five plus 4.2 plus 5.2 plus seven plus 15. And don't forget this last guy over here, plus 10 inches. And we divide this whole thing by the length of the core, which was 60 inches given in the problem. Oops, and we need to multiply that by 100% because we want it in percentages. That's what's given over here. So punch that in your calculator. What do you get? You get 77%. That is the RQD, and the answer to this guy is B. So again, this is kind of a common problem on the PE exam that, that uh, people are uh, seem to come up with, and it's to find the RQD, but it's very simple once you know where to go to solve this. So anyway, hope that helped you out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.